Hey, it's Joe Soto. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about a friend of ours who passed away five years ago now. It's been five years since we lost Doug Banks. And uh, it certainly hasn't been the same without him. Not only was Doug a tremendous, incredible radio personality, to me even more, he was a tremendous person. And uh, I, I miss that dude. I think about him frequently. He was... Uh, he was a unique guy, no doubt about it. A couple stories I'd like to share with you about Doug, if you don't mind. Him and I were at uh, ABC Radio in Dallas at the same time. I remember I was doing a hot AC format. I'm on the air. I'm doing a break live on the air. And the door gets kicked open. It's Doug. Hey, buddy. I go, Doug, I'm on the air, man. Don't worry about it. So he waits for me to finish the break. He sits, he's got his feet up on the console, waits for me to finish the break. And then he starts telling me whatever it is he needed to tell me. See, his studio, him and Tom Joyner were on the bottom floor of the ABC building. And I was, we were on the third floor or whatever. He comes up to tell me that and he leaves. See you later, buddy. Yeah, okay, Doug, you know. <laughs> that was Doug. And another time he calls me, this is right after my mom died. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm not doing well. I'm getting ready to come here to the station, V103. Phone rings, I pick it up. Hey buddy, it's Doug. I go, hey Doug, tell me about your mom. So as bad as I felt, I start talking to Doug about my mom and I felt better, man. He made me feel better, you know? And that's just the kind of dude he was. He was uh, funny, but he was compassionate too. And uh, I miss that dude. We all do. We all do. So uh, say a prayer for Doug's family. And I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, Doug Banks, one of the all-time greats. Appreciate you guys. And uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>